Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, my name is Huey and this is my YouTube page, Beauty by Huey. If you haven't already, make sure you head to my Instagram and follow me there as well for some more content. Today is going to be a video on testing two products and the first impressions of these products. I'm going to try for the first time do something like kind of um, take you throughout my day, seeing how these products last and you'll see what I mean with the day that I've got set up. So let's get straight into it. Um, it's going to be a test. Uh, video on the CoverGirl um, what is it? Outlast Active Foundation, which is their new range that they brought out that's supposed to be like um, foundation and uh, mascara and stuff that you can wear you know, when you're working out or if you've got a really active day. Um, the other product I've got as well is this CoverGirl um, Outlast Active Mist. So this is like the setting mist that comes with it. So I'm going to be testing two of these with um, base products and other things that I know really, really well to see um, if it really uh, lives up to its name. Um, I've already seen lots of reviews on this. Uh, I bought this in uh, this week's Priceline sale and uh, one of my lovely Instagram friends or friends that I met on Instagram, Courtney, gave me this to try. So it kind of came at a perfect time because today I will be attempting a 7 kilometer run. Maybe a bit of a jog. But I'll be going to the infamous Bay Run here in Sydney. Um, so I thought what a great you know, day to kind of test these two out. Um, so let's get started. Uh, I'm going to go in with a Maybelline Superstay Primer, which is a primer that I know really, really well. But normally um, when I used to wear makeup to the gym, um, you can see I'm a bit nasally because <laughs> I'm sick. Um, but yes, normally when I used to, before when I used to wear makeup to the gym and things like that, I would always go with this primer because it's very lightweight. It doesn't feel like it's clogging up my pores. Um, I don't even think it comes in this packaging. Um, it's come off, but it's like the Superstay kind of range packaging from Maybelline. Very affordable. It's supposed to be like the L'Oreal Infallible. I've got my as well. two sponges here that I'm going to try it with. Um, we'll go with the Juno and Co one. Oh, that's hard. I feel like it is a little bit light, like, can you guys see that? It's a little bit runny, uh, probably because of the SPF in it as well. So with these ones, it's probably better to kind of dab it on and I'm going to go in nice and close as well. This actually might work better with a brush. It's actually quite, quite thick when it applies on. hair is so gross I need to wash it I'm like one of those people I'm like well if I wash it now I'm just gonna have to wash it later after my run anyway okay so first impressions extremely creamy extremely thick it is the Juno Co sponge it's not liking that so I'm gonna go in with um, the beauty blender and yep it likes that one much better and then I might like go on top of it with a brush. It's definitely not full coverage, um, which makes sense if it's like one for the gym and stuff. It's medium coverage. Um, doesn't really cover up my scars and stuff that well. The shade range also wasn't fantastic in Priceline as well. Um, so, you know, Soft Honey is probably not even the right shade for me. I probably need to, something a little, little bit more golden. Yeah. Okay, so on camera, it actually doesn't look that bad, but in person, I think I'm just not used to this coverage, maybe. I think it's much better with a brush, and even more a finer brush, like a stippling brush. Okay, we're not going for a full glam look, so I'm doing the bay run, like I said, but I'm also meeting, doing a kind of going to a meeting this morning that's a bit of an informal one all right i don't know what do you guys think probably not my best work this is just the bare minerals concealer um just gonna kind of do some quick concealer work and powder on top so that you guys can see how it sets then I'll go off camera do my contour and stuff and then I'll come back show you guys the rest of my face and then do some check-ins uh, yeah I actually yeah it looks better on camera oh my god the sunshine's shining through 
Wow, it looks really nice on the camera. It doesn't really look like that in the mirror. Might just be me. Okay, um, let's go in with some powder. We'll use a Nikkei Joy Cosmetics one, which is one of my favorite powders. I love this one, and I love my Laura Mercier one at the moment um, as well. I'm actually I'm going to go in with a beauty blender underneath my eye. I just find that that always works the best if I'm sitting underneath my eye. And then I'm actually going to go in with a brush, which I don't usually use through the week because I just find a beauty blender going around. Oh my God, how that happen? Works a lot better. Can you tell I'm in a rush? Okay, so it's setting down quite nicely. I mean, I'm not mad, like super crazy about this part. but Like the parts where, like this side's definitely, I don't have as much scarring and acne. It's much better. It's actually setting looks really nice with this powder but this powder fixes everything, fixes everything. um all right i'm gonna go off camera and do the rest of my face then i'll come back and uh, show you guys what everything looks like then i'll do some check-ins okay i'm back and the final thing i have to put on is the mist so it actually set really nicely um it looks beautiful on camera like my mirror is really um disappointing me at the minute maybe because I'm sick I'm just having one of those days um yes I will be running with this much makeup on but I'll wear a hat so I don't look too silly but um it'll be a good chance like I said for me to really review this active range all right let's spray this on give it a shake it's a really I really like the bottle it feels really beautiful really nice and round all right. Oh my god, it's really direct. Like, maybe I have to do it further away. No, then I can't really feel it. Anyway, <laughs> well, that was a bit intense to spray. It's like, it sprays out like, not like sparse. It looks like this. So it's like, anyway, um, how does it look? Ooh, okay, not bad. Really nice around kind of this area. Not bad at all. Um, anyway, I'll show you guys close up what it looks like. And um, I'll take you throughout the day. Bring my camera along with me. Um, so I can show you kind of before the run. And after the run. Um, and then what it look like when I get home. Okay, this is a little bit better for you guys to see. In the natural sun. Really, really nice matte finish. Actually, it looks okay. I think it's just because my skin's really bad on the side at the moment. Like I keep saying. Let me open that up. Even better. Um, so, I should say this is about the 11 o'clock mark in the morning. Um, so, I'll check in a little bit later when I'm done with my run. And then uh, you guys know how I go. Hey guys. So, it's 2.15 at the moment. So, it's been about three hours i finished a seven kilometer run i'm unfortunately i didn't get to check in with you right after um or well fortunately because i ran into a friend and so we caught up for about 45 minutes but i ran for 45 minutes in the sun um i'll show you how like sunny it is outside it's a beautiful kind of winter's day here in sydney um and i definitely i'm a sweater so um let's go up nice and close to show you it held up really nicely ignore my nose and above my lip because um i've got a runny nose so i was like kind of you know touching around the area the whole time but otherwise like guys i'm not mad about this at all if like i could still go out i could just you know if i didn't have any issues around here i would have no no problems um i did notice as like i was walking or throughout the day before i started my run that it was it's a very actually lightweight foundation so i'm really happy about it um i'll keep going about my day and i'll check in with you guys a bit later um but cover girl active outlast you're impressing me Hey guys, just checking in at the five hour mark. I've just touched up my nose and my upper lip um, because I've been blowing my nose all day, but otherwise nothing else. Um, look, it is looking really, really nice. I can't believe how well my cheek products are holding together. Um, this is where I normally have issues. Now, it has come off a little bit. As you can see, these spots are a little bit more visible than before, but 
I have done the 7k run I have kind of been sweating around there um, but it doesn't look terrible like it I'm loving it so far um, I'm not gonna do too much just a few things around the house just go about my day I um, mean I'll give you my final thoughts uh, in a couple of hours Hey guys, we are back at the nine hour mark and I think this will be my last check-in because there's not a whole lot that was happening tonight. Um, look, I went for a 7K run, so I think that was a real test and it was a beautiful like 25 degree day and I was sweating everywhere. So I think that that's enough to give you a final opinion or my final, final opinion about this product. Um, Look, it, I probably should have said this earlier, but it says that it's up to 24 hour wear that won't let you down, sweat proof, transfer proof, humidity proof, oil free, won't clog pores and suitable for all skin types. Now, you guys might know that I have combo oily skin um, and acne prone, definitely um, large in large pores and so look, it's done pretty well for my skin, I think so anyway. I mean, what do you guys think? It looks like I still put it on. Don't mind my nose and above my lip because you guys know I've been blowing my nose a lot today. I did touch up my last video, but I haven't done that since because I wasn't really doing much. Um, but I'll bring you, well, I'll come in nice and close so you can see. So this is a side that I usually have a lot of problems with. Like there's definitely a bit of fading here, um, but it's otherwise like not, what happens normally with these pimples is they become really red and they become bigger when foundations clog my skin up. And this doesn't look that bad. Same with, this is my side that's not as bad. I think it's held pretty well. I'm most impressed by this foundation through telling about how my well through like looking at my contouring and how it looks so normally what happens if it's a foundation that doesn't really work for me or it's not long lasting it the contour breaks up and it like becomes patchy it becomes like you know like all crackly and stuff like that but i could just kind of touch up my nose and you know maybe a little bit around the forehead and off I go. Um, so I'm pretty happy with it overall. Uh, 24 hours. Excuse me. 24 hours. Look, I'm not going to wear a foundation for 24 hours. I don't know who is. I normally do wear foundations for like, you know, kind of 12 to 16 hours depending on my day, especially if I'm working. So I will be testing this next week. So make sure you stay tuned via usually um, in the comments here or on my um Instagram is normally when I will review a product on its own a few weeks later after doing like this kind of a first impressions video. For $8.95, this was pretty good. I definitely recommend it for combo oily skin. Um, I don't have dry skin, so I can't tell you, and I haven't really seen reviews from people who've had dry skin either. Um, I did do a bit of a flash photo, and I think there's a little bit of flashback, but like, yeah, it's not too terrible. Otherwise, I don't usually test photos in flash photography, so I can't really tell you, like, comparing to other products as such. Um, but, yeah, it didn't look, like, super pretty with the flash. Um, overall, recommend it. Um, if you have tried it and you have a different skin type especially, please let me know in the comments. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this kind of video and let me know if it was helpful because I will do more of them. See you guys later. Have a good weekend.